In this video, I'm going to give you some of the limiting beliefs that's holding you back from becoming successful. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video so you won't miss anything. But first, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. I really appreciate all the support, people. Now, when it comes to being successful, when it comes to getting to that next level in life, a lot of people have limiting beliefs. A lot of these limiting beliefs have been installed in us. You understand what I'm saying? So in this video, I'm going to give you some of the major limiting beliefs that are holding you back from becoming successful people. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure that you focus. Make sure that you pay attention, people. Now, one of the first limiting beliefs that's holding you back from becoming successful is two words. I can't. Now, a lot of us, I'm including myself, a lot of us been, have been using that word, I can't, since we were born. You understand what I'm saying? Since we were little kids, we have been using the word, I can't. And what's really going on when people say, I can't, it really means that you are unable to do it at this moment. Because when a person says, I can't do something, it only means that they don't have the education yet. They haven't taught their self how to achieve this particular thing that they're saying that they can't do whatever it is that they're trying to do. You understand what I'm saying now? You got to understand, you have the choice to learn. You have the choice to educate yourself and learn how to do it. And then you'll turn I can't into I can because you know how to do it. So stop saying the word I can't because the more that you say you can't do something, the universe is going to give you more of I can't. You're going to be in situations where you're always saying, I can't do this. I can't do that. You understand what I'm saying? So turn I can to I can, turn it to I will, and turn it to it's done. You understand what I'm saying? Now, another limiting belief, people, it's kind of like the last one, but it's I can't because. See, that word because makes I can't more powerful because a lot of people... I run into a lot of people who say I can't do something because, you know, I'm the type of person I like to see people become successful. I like to see people advance and get to that next level in life. So I'm always trying to give people ideas. I'm always like, hey, man, you, you know, you would make a great mechanic or you would make a great uh, chef or whatever it is. You know, I'm just always trying to give people motivation and inspire people. You understand what I'm saying? So I hear a lot of people saying, like, I can't become a chef because I don't have the resources to become a chef. I can't become a mechanic because I'm too short or I'm too skinny or I'm too tall. I don't have the skill set. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people say I can't do something because they don't have whatever it is to take to get it. And they don't understand. All they have to do is move out of their own way. All they have to do is become more educated and do it. All they have to do is actually put one foot in front of the other and make it happen. See, when you put yourself out there, um, you will get it back. You will accomplish what you put, set out to do. You will achieve it. You understand what I'm saying? As long as you keep trying, as long as you keep being determined, as long as you continue to put yourself in that situation to get it done. So you have to stop saying, I can't do something because stop making excuses and just get it done, people. Now, another limiting belief that people use on a regular basis, and I hear this one a lot. I don't have the time. I hear people say they can't do something because they got to go to work. They can't become successful and make success moves because they don't have the time to do it. They have to pay bills. I hear a lot of people always making excuses and putting time on it. You got to understand time is a man made concept. Time is linear. Time does not even really exist. Time is something that was made up by man people. You know, there are a lot of successful people who didn't have the time to do something, but they made that time. You know, they turned a lot of their success from not getting sleep. A lot of people, they like to sleep. They like to rest. They like to chill. They like to party. They like to hang out. There's time right there. Am I, am I wrong or am I right? 
I mean, comment below and let me know if I'm wrong or right, people. Let me know if people can actually make the time to get some things done or are they just using I don't have time as a as a crutch. You know, they're using it as a crutch. You understand what I'm saying? See, you can always make time for yourself to be successful. You always make time to get up in the morning to make a cup of coffee or you make time to go to the bar and hang out. You make time to go hang out with your friends and all that kind of stuff. Right. So I'm telling you, you always got time. Stop saying that you don't have time. I don't have time is a social construct. You understand what I'm saying? So reverse all that. Create that time. If you want to become successful, lose out on that sleep. If you want to become successful, make time. Stop hanging out with people all the time. You know, use that time to be creative. Use that time towards your business. Use that time towards your passion. You understand what I'm talking about? So stop saying I don't have time because that is a limiting belief, people. Now, limiting beliefs that are holding people back from becoming successful. I need to change before I can you get that? You can put the words after that, right? A lot of people say, I need to change and become this kind of person before I can become successful. I need to get a tan before I can start making YouTube videos. <laughs> I need to uh, get a little taller before I can learn how to play basketball. Uh, I need to become smarter before I can go to this class and do this in college. You understand? A lot of people put this stipulation on their self. So you have to stop saying I have to change before I can do something. You know, this this just puts a lot of stopping on what you need to do in your life. You don't have to change. You're perfect just the way you are. Just put yourself out there. Put your creativity out there and just get it done. You know, just put yourself in that situation to become successful go after what you want or go after who you want to become you understand what i'm saying you don't need to change before you do something nothing is perfect people understand that now another limiting belief that is holding people back from becoming successful people i'm not good enough a lot of people they run around they walk around whatever you want to call it and they literally think that they are not good enough and they say that to their self i'm not good enough is a very powerful thing to say to yourself and your subconscious mind is taking that in your subconscious mind is going to believe you see when you say i'm not good enough you're really not skilled enough yet you you think you're not talented enough you understand what i'm saying you are scared to fail you got to understand a lot of successful people they failed so much in their life to become successful. That's exactly what they did, people. You know, when you say I'm not good enough, you manifest perfectionism. You manifest anxiety. You manifest procrastination. These are the things that you are bringing into your reality when you say I'm not good enough. That means you don't believe in yourself. That means you don't have faith in yourself. That means you don't trust yourself. That means you always feel like you can't get stuff done. You know, start saying, I am good enough. You know, I can do it. All I have to do is put my mind to it and I can get it done. I'm not scared to fail because I know that failing is going to help me learn. I know that a lot of successful people fail to become successful. Those, these are the type of things you have to start saying to yourself. Start telling yourself that you are good enough, that you're the best at what you want to do. You understand what I'm saying? Now, limiting beliefs that's holding people back from success. I can do it myself. A lot of people say that, you know, because people are just walking around with pride. People are just walking around thinking that if they take help from somebody or ask somebody for help, then it's showing a sign of weakness. You understand what I'm saying? People are just crazy. You know what I'm saying? If God sends you help, if God sends somebody in your life that is willing to assist you in, in becoming successful or whatever it is you're trying to do, you have to accept the help people because you got to understand God is going to always send somebody in your life that is going to help you progress. You know, especially when you're doing something productive, especially when you're doing something very positive, that's going to have a positive impact on your community or even the world. You understand what I'm saying? You have to accept that help when the universe sends it, because if you don't accept that help, that's just a form of abundance. If you don't accept it, then you won't you won't get a lot of help in your life. The more you accept abundance, the more you'll get more abundance in. You understand what I'm saying? Accept that help 
ask for help if you need it because it's going to help you get to the next level now another limiting beliefs that's probably holding you back from success right now and one of the things that people say i will be judged people always feel like if they put their self out there that they're going to be judged i will be judged is a limiting belief who cares what people think who cares how people feel about you putting yourself out there you know you have to get in a situation where you don't care if people judge you you don't care what people think because most of the time if somebody's judging you and they're judging you in a negative way that is a toxic person that is a toxic person i had a, a video that i did yesterday on people that are toxic when people judge they're insecure about their self you understand so don't be a person that is scared to be judged don't be a person that's scared to put yourself out there on that pedestal on that stage baby don't be scared to show the world what you got who cares what people think you know at the end of the day do what's in your heart do what inspires you do what motivates you and be positive you understand have a positive impact people don't be scared to be judged now another limiting belief that is probably holding you back right now i failed a lot of people they say i failed and then they don't want to even try again because they're scared to fail again you know when a person says i failed and then they don't even want to get back up and try again this is a disempowering belief this will disempower them from even trying something again you understand when a person fails you got to get back up again you got to try it again people you got to keep going nothing is stopping you from trying it again you know how many people how many successful people in this world failed you know how many times they failed many and many of times but it didn't stop them from becoming successful so when you fail just get back up reframe your thinking to i didn't make it this time but next time i'm going to get it next time i'm going to conquer it next time i'm going to be successful at it you understand you always got to have that positive mental outlook on it and you will definitely get rid of that limiting belief now another limiting belief that's holding people back from success and i hate when people say this i hate when people say i'm stupid i'm dumb you know why do people even say that about their self when, when you say I'm stupid and I dumb and I'm dumb you it is gonna make you stay in your comfort zone you understand what I'm saying it's gonna make you be scared to grow it's gonna make you be scared to get to the next level because you're not gonna step out of your comfort zone you have to be willing and you have to embrace to make mistakes because when you make mistakes you grow you learn you understand what I'm saying? When a person says I'm stupid, I'm dumb, we might as well throw them a self-pity party. It's like they're looking for a pity from other people or even pity from their self. You know, when you look at yourself and you say things like that, your words are very, very powerful. You have to be very careful of what you say to yourself because you'll actually start to believe that. So stop saying that I'm stupid. Stop saying I'm dumb. Start saying I'm smart. I'm intelligent. You know, I'm courageous. I'm the best. You, you know what I mean? Y'all see this little rain is coming down. I love these little drizzles right now. It feels very good. You know, the, the universe is being very good to me right now. You know what I mean? Now, another limiting belief that's holding people back from success is saying it's not possible for me. A lot of people, they say it's not possible for, my, for me. And they, and they, Think that there's no possibility of them ever achieving or getting what they want to get you know when you say it's not possible for me you stop your dreams you stop your imagination from working people and your imagination is very very creative and it is definitely what creates your reality when you use your imagination and you're looking at yourself being successful, you're visualizing yourself getting to the next level in life. That is very, that is how you create. That's how you manifest people. So when you, when a person says it's not possible for me, they kill their dream. They kill their imagination. So from now on, start saying anything is possible, especially for me. Anything I put my mind to, I get it done. Anything's possible for me. You know what I mean? That's how you definitely get rid of that limiting belief. Now, limiting beliefs that's holding people back, 
you know, from success people is this one is this one is the classic it's too late a lot of people say it's too late just to stop themselves from even getting up and even trying because either they're lazy or they just don't have faith in their self you know what you know what you mean you know morgan freeman he was doing acting for so long he didn't get his break until he turned like what 49 you know it never stopped him it he never said it was too late and he became successful. You know how many people finish high school or even college in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s? You know, it's never too late. You never know what the universe has for you until you actually go out and do it. You know, until you actually go out there and say it's not too late. I'm going to get this done no matter what. I didn't get my GED until 2014, people. You know, I kept on trying and trying and trying. I had to get rid of all the distractions in my life. I had to get rid of all the youth, the, the detours and everything like that. I had to get toxic people out of my life and I went ahead and I got it. You know, I got it in 2014, people. You know, it is never too late to become successful. It is never too late to level up in life. It's never too late, people. Stop saying it's too late. Now, Another limiting beliefs that's holding you back or just holding people back, period. They always say, I'm terrible at everything. They don't have any kind of faith in themselves at all. They just feel like anything that they do, they're going to fail. When, when people say, I'm terrible at, er at everything, you're stopping yourself at the gate. You're stopping yourself from even trying. You understand what I'm saying? This is a very disempowering belief to have and even say about yourself. Words are very, very powerful, people. Stop saying I'm terrible at everything. That is negative self-talk. You know, when you say things to yourself like that, that's negative. And it becomes your reality, people. So be a person that has positive self-talk. Say that you're not terrible at everything. Say you're great at everything. Say you're good at everything. That's what you have to do. You have to get rid of that negative talk and start that positive talk. Now, another limiting belief that's holding people back is saying, I have to be perfect. This is perfectionism. People say I have to be perfect to even get to another level in life to to make that next success move They feel like everything has to be so perfect. That's a definitely a limiting belief that was installed in us from birth You understand what I'm saying you it, you have to you never have to be great to start But you have to start to be great Remember that you never have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great Remember that people because perfectionism is something that we all have probably had one point in time in our life We always had to wait to the right moment and all of that, but we have to get rid of that You have to get rid of that. You don't have to be perfect Every, Any time to start and make a move to be successful any time is the right time people any time is the right time So stop trying to be perfect and realize that any successful person in this world was never perfect when they started it may seem and right now it may seem like it's so perfect to you, but they can still see flaws in their own work. They can still see room for improvement, people. You know, they can still see where they can get better at what they do. So remember, stop saying I have to be perfect because nothing is perfect, people. Now, another limiting belief that's holding people back from success may be holding you back from success. And this is a big one, people. This to me is the biggest one. I don't deserve a lot of people feel like they don't deserve to be wealthy a lot of people feel like they don't deserve love they don't deserve wealth they don't deserve material wealth you know what this is people this is the, the, the top of the poverty mindset this is one of the things that's keeping people poor it's keeping people broke it's keeping people down because they don't feel like they deserve all of the great things and abundance that this universe has to offer. Let me tell you something, people. You deserve everything. You deserve love. You deserve good health. You deserve wealth. You deserve material wealth. You deserve anything that you feel like you desire in this world. You deserve all of your desires. You know, so start telling yourself on a regular basis. Look in the mirror and say, I do deserve 
I deserve anything I want. I deserve happiness. I deserve everything that this world, that this universe has to offer. I deserve it. I deserve the best in life. Start saying things to that like that to yourself because you'll start getting rid of those limiting beliefs that are holding you back, people. Now, another limiting belief that is holding people back from becoming successful. They all, I, hear, I always hear people talking about, I'm struggling. I hear people talking about, I'm broke. I'm poor. I'm not healthy. You know, words are very powerful, people. You have to, once again, stop that negative self-talk. Because the more and more that you say I'm struggling, the more and more that you say you're broke, the more and more that you say that you're poor, you're not healthy, you're going to get more of that in your life. More, you're going to manifest more and more and more and more and more being broke, more being uh, not healthy, more and more being poor. You're going to keep having that poor mentality. You're going to keep having that poverty mindset the more that you say that to yourself. You have to start saying things like, I'm not struggling. I am rich. I am wealthy. This is where affirmations come in, people. This is where that positive self-talk comes in. This is where you create positive mantras. You know, you have to start saying things like, I am as healthy as I can ever be. I always go out and get as much money as I ever desire. The universe always sends me wealth, good health. You know, I can manifest anything I want to manifest in this world. You know, you have to start saying those things to yourself, create those positive mantras, create that positive self-talk. And that's exactly what you will get in your life. Now, another limiting belief that's holding people back from success. And this is a big one. Also, no one will listen. If I say something, ain't nobody going to listen to me anyway. You know, that's what people um, do. You know what this is? That's showing that you have a lack of communication. That's showing that you have a lack of communication skills, people. You know, and it, what else it does, it keeps you in that box. It keeps you from speaking. It keeps you from voicing your opinion. And not only that, it keeps you shy. You know, you have to break out of that shyness. You have to break out of your shell. Speak your voice. Your voice matters. Your voice counts, people. You know what I'm saying? So stop saying that no one will listen because at the end of the day, your voice needs to be heard and your feelings need to be expressed and respected people so make sure that you stop saying that no one will listen start saying everyone will listen to me i have a very powerful opinion and i have a very powerful voice and it needs to be heard i hope this video was helpful because all i want to help you do is identify your limiting beliefs you have to conquer all of these limiting beliefs and you know what else you have to do Use perseverance, people. You have to use perseverance to reach your success. You have to be resilient. You know, if you get knocked down, get back up. You understand what I'm saying? So, hey, if this video resonated with you, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you share this video, comment. I really appreciate all the support, people. Thank you for helping Millionaire Mindset grow, people. Now, the limiting beliefs that are holding you back, make sure that you go ahead and Get those limiting beliefs out and I promise you, your life will change, people. Now, until the next video, I love y'all. Peace, peace, and peace. 100, people.